Hello, I am Bentham, and welcome back to Astroneer, where we um, are safe. There are no storms anymore, and the sky is lovely and clear and blue. And uh, we'll continue trying to find uh, cool things out in the wilderness. So actually, it looks like we've charged up our power again. Ready to do more science. So we'll uh, grab this thing, walk it down, press the button. We'll see what we get this time. We get... Oh, we just got some... Oh, some titanium. That's nice. I'll take that. There's a thing we can make with this. Let's put it in our bag. Have a quick scroll through. We can make a tank. I don't know what would be put in the tank. An o Is it an oxygen tank? That would be cool. Should I try and make it? Is there something that uses titanium out of what... Out of our options here? Compound, compound, aluminium, copper. No, so there's nothing that needs titanium at the moment. So, yeah, let's try... Let's try making a tank. There we go. And, yeah, that's an oxygen tank. Fantastic. Can I put it on here? No, it has to be in the inventory itself. Oh, it can go over here. Awesome. It's not, it's not filling anymore. Why is it not filling anymore? Oh, so maybe it doesn't go on there, because going on there seemed to stop it functioning. So yeah, now we have more oxygen capacity. I don't know how much more. Hopefully doubled. Uh, well, let's carry on. That should be very nice. Night's starting to fall again. Oh, there's a bit of wind. Oh, I, th I thought these are disconnected, but no, they're disconnected through the ground. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, the winds are picking up here. A little bit worrying. I mean, I could just hide in a random hole if necessary, but I might lose my oxygen supply if one of the tethers gets knocked over. I oh, know it seems fine. Excellent, alright. Continuing on, let's go look over here at what we have. Some rocks, don't do anything. Some resin, we are out of resin now I think, so we'll grab some more. Should get plenty from this. And we're out of power. Yeah, we still need some better source of power. I mean, we've got the solar panel, but it probably doesn't work in the night. Do we have any more compound in here, I wonder? It looks like there's nothing else. And yeah, we'll have to move on and find a new deposit. Some big rock here. Does this have a, a random cube on top of it? Or what is this stuff over here? We found something interesting. It's, it it's definitely seems like a good idea to bring the tethers over here. Seems to be plenty of stuff. Right, this is a deposit of something. A permanent supply of... It's compound fantastic! We will no longer have to worry so much about never having any compound available. Awesome. And then over here we have some power. Excellent. So we can stop having the no power issue all the time. Got a bit more of this. Um, oh, are we out of space? We are. We, oh, we just left that behind. That was a bit weird. Um, I guess if we scroll this through to something that uses compound, then we can grab this, put it in. It, it. You can do it. You can do it. I can't get it to go in the thing. Oh, there we go. Tab makes that happen, I think. Right, let's go back. Is that an oxygen supply? That looks like it is. Which means I should be able to harvest it. I can. Fantastic. Let's grab as much as we can. And if there's any... Did it all turn into... Yeah, it all just filled our tanks rather than actually being turned into the oxygen item, unfortunately. But that's fine. We can come back later and maybe be able to build up a supply of oxygen. Oxygen blobs to keep in reserve for longer journey trips. Longer time journeys. I don't know what I'm saying. A little bit dark. We have we got power chart? No, we don't have enough power for any more research, which is good because we don't have any other stuff to research until we go over there and grab some more of the weird things. I wonder, can I steal this? I mean, the moment we don't want to because the power needs to charge, but I could steal that and have two on my on my backpack, or I could just make a new one because now I have loads of, of uh, compound. Whoops. I just fired that off over there. It, it looks like it's fine. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try making another solar. We'll probably need one again eventually. 
There you go. Yep, pops into that one. So now we should have double the power generation, which is great. Except I think at the moment, because we have these, whenever we use power, it will actually use these instead. So maybe I should just leave one. I'm going to try putting it there and hope the site... Oh, it... Every time. Every time I put a random item in a random place, it does something weird. Well, now we're fully charged, so that's nice. Yeah, so we need to store the power not on that, on anything else. But maybe not here, because who knows what'll happen. I think there's just storage things you can build, and then you can definitely put stuff on top of those without worrying. Anyway. Right, we've got two bits of resin. Still plenty of tethers. One bit of compound left after that. You can keep that in reserve for making more tethers. And the comp oh, the, the compound is used for filters. We'll leave that for the... Maybe we should just try making it. We can get more compound now. We do have a renewable source of it. So we'll see what these do. If anything. Okay, they're blue. That suggests oxygen-based stuff. Is there a thing I can print? I don't know. I guess we'll keep those on us. We'll see what they do. I don't know. Maybe once we're out of range of the base, we'll start to see it deplete or something. I guess we'll leave the base so we can see. Let's just drop this resin down on the ground over here. Oh, there's a bit of compound that got chucked over there, isn't there? So we've got one bit left over there. We'll even leave this power behind because we've got our solar panels. Alright, let's wander off. We'll probably deploy some more tethers this time because we sort of didn't continue the line. Uh, where's the end? Here it is. I've sort of put a hole in the way. Um, I guess we'll build around it. Right. Tether. Actually, you just use T for it, don't you? You don't pick up the whole thing. T. There we go. How far can we take it? We can take it to there. T again. Can we stick it on top of this? That'd be cool. So if we dig that thing up, then it'll, it'll get moved, which will be awkward. Over to here. It's probably going to use up all of them. I don't know exactly how many you end up getting. We can get all the way over to all these nodes and stuff. Whoops, missed. You can just pick them up and move them. Nice and easy. Right into the middle here. Nope. There. And that is all our tethers, so it took us right to where we needed to be. Excellent. Um, now we need to disconnect from it to see what happens to our backpack when we do that. Let's go over here. Grab this. Get what little compound there is available. Over here we've got some power. And what's our backpack doing? Nothing seems to have depleted at all. Okay. Maybe the, that tank has depleted slightly? Let's go. Ooh, there's a, another... Another pod that's been landed here. Let's see what we get. We get some copper, excellent. And some organic, which is... We, we, we can... There's some of that around, I must admit. Oh, is this compound? It looks like it is. No, it's resin. That's right, this is what resin looks like. And compound looks like a more crystally thing, maybe a bit? More blocky? Well, we got more resin anyway. And our oxygen is still fine. Uh, apparently these filters are awesome, then, I guess. What is this? Is this breathing? I'm scared of things that are breathing. It means they exhale, and they might exhale things that I don't like. Actually, that's the thought. How come poison gas, like, suffocates me when I'm in a, in a, a, a suit? Maybe it just, like, tears into the suit and makes holes in it. Oh, I dug this up and it just sort of collapsed. Oh, but we've, we found a thing. I'll grab this. Some weird kind of sort of pine cone, maybe? Oh, I've fallen in. Is this a thing to grab or... I don't know. Can we hop out? Crap. Oh, I've done weird things. I tried to access the bag instead of opening the gun and... It really wanted to scroll over to where there was wall, apparently. There we go, we're free. Oh, suddenly... Ah, okay, so... So filters work as, like, a... A one-time-use oxygen supply, I guess? And then... 
like, I guess that's for if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you can't get any more oxygen, you can just make the filters and they will give you oxygen for a certain amount of time. So it's a sort of emergency measure, I guess, if I've got it right. Right, uh, where are our tethers? It's over this way, isn't it? Well, we got, we got our foot caught on a tiny rock. We'll go back over here so we can resupply on oxygen. There we go. Lock that down. Take that home later. Over here, we've got a bunch of power. I didn't actually fully resupply my oxygen there, but that's probably fine. Let's just get as much of this as we can. Three full thingamabobs of it. The wind is picking up again. I think there's some clouds that appear when it happened, when a, a storm is actually coming, so we can watch out for that and see if we will die today. Get some more compound from here. Not that much more. A little bit, making progress. And then we can get some more oxygen from here. Except we're, oh, we're connected to the oxygen supply, so we'll actually generate some oxygen blobs rather than just immediately use it up. Quick wander over here. Anything good here? Can't tell if these are just, like, rocks or ores. It looks like they're just rocks, actually. Yeah, mining them does nothing. And over here we have a plant. It's going to be another explodey plant. Let's mine it from a distance. Got these. Whoop, yep, there we go. Explodes and generates a small amount of poison gas, just a little bit. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. I will grab this. Why have we left this behind? What is this? Apparently we gained some power. It must have been on top of some power. I guess we'll just sort of ferry the two of the things back to the tethers. This extra oxygen tank is really good. I mean, it's doubled our range, basically. And the tethers have uh, well over doubled it. Oops, not that. I mean, I don't actually need to do it like this, do I? Because I can just... There, and now I can pick this up and stick it there, and now we're all good. We'll pick this up. Wander back. And this is probably a good time to start returning to the base again. Get some more research done. You still do with some more compound. We also need to find a bunch of other stuff still, like copper, but... I think copper is found underground, and I don't like underground. As we've established, the underground does not agree with me. In fact, it much prefers to murder me at every possible opportunity. We should be able to do some more research now. Oh, steady. Yeah, I forgot to invert the, the, uh, the looking control, so it's still messing with my brain a bit. There we go. And we get... The suspense. We get power cells. That sounds good. Do we make those ourselves? Let me see. Whoops, I just... Oh yeah, of course, because I switched. I just threw away some... I don't even know what that was. Battery, tethers, tank... Oh, power cells. There we go. It's made of compound. Why is everything made of compound? I don't have enough compound. I don't have any compound. This is terrible. There's some over there. And then... Yeah, that's copper there. Um, is there anything we can do with copper at the moment? Let, right, we need to get rid of some of this stuff. We need to plonk it just down. Why is it... Float so... Is, is, does this just not weigh anything? I'm worried that when the wind picks up, it's just going to blow away. Resin. Resin. Organics. Power. Okay. We'll grab the copper. Put it back. And then... Yeah, we can make a generator with this. Anything else? No, so I think we'll try this and see what happens. Maybe we should have saved it because we need that for a, f uh, a fuel condenser, apparently. Or a printer. Printers are probably really important, thinking about it. I mentioned it's the 3D printer that will print all the things we need for everything ever. Right, so... Is that... Is that our generator there? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. So... 
What does the red wedge mean next to it? Does it mean that it doesn't work where it is? I was going to stick it there, but that could result in bad things. But what's going on now? Oh, it's saying it needs organics. Right. I'm going to take this out for a second. I'm going to put this here. No, it's got it's got the red wedge, which I think means it doesn't work. Let's try putting the organic stuff in it anyway. And now it's spinning. And I think slowly depleting the organics. And it is powering this. There we go. So this, yeah. Works just the same. We can probably use one of these ourselves as well. But what does the, what does the red wedge mean? I don't understand. This game doesn't have a tutorial. So it's, it's hard to tell with a lot of these things. Is it still... The batteries are charged, but it's still burning through the organic. That seems like a bad idea. I mean, you're just wasting it, surely. I'm going to move you to there. Because I think that just does work. We need a thing to research. I'm going to go and, like, I need to deplete the power so I can work out how the power is uh, regained. So, yeah, we'll just make our way back with what we have, which is nothing. Apart from a little battery thing. There's something over there that uh, we can take back to research. We can also grab some more compound and stuff. We can have a bit more of a look in that cave. Ow. And we can pick up this uh, blob of oxygen we have. Though we'll leave that. We'll leave that till we're going back so that we don't end up just using the oxygen anyway. Right. Grab this. One more blob. And we'll go off this way to see what's in the cave. So there's a couple of entrances to the thing. There's still that plant there. Oh, there we go, it's gone. Makes a little poison cloud that disappears. So we've got another weird thing here. Let's just put that out over there. And then we've got some oxygen in here. A little bit of power here. We'll, let, we'll, we'll grab that. We can make use of it in a bit of mining. And yeah, I guess we'll mine all this oxygen here. Mostly just got... Oh, we managed to get one oxygen blob, just. Right, okay, there's weird uh, tendrils. Sure, that's fine. Uh, these things... What? Are these just weird rock formations? They don't seem to do anything. Yeah, they just disappear after a while. If I dig down in this, it... it oh, it just... It was... It has no roots! How does that work? Or well, maybe the roots are above it. Is there stuff embedded in it up there? Stuff I can use, maybe? No, it's 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 got. How does this work? It doesn't actually dig into anything. It just like braces itself against the ceiling and the floor. What a strange thing. I like a bit of something there, but I don't think it was. More oxygen. Excellent. Get on the bottom there. Keep going in, and I see some malachite. Hopefully this time it's not accompanied by evil poisonous creatures. Grab some more power, that'll help us with the mining. And let's just grab all of it. What is that thing spinning for? Right, give me all of it. I need copper. I need copper so badly. We probably need to actually, like, smelt this stuff to actually use it. Oh, there's a big hole under us. That's interesting. Can I still just grab? Yeah, I can still work on grabbing the rest of this, and uh, I can't even see anything down there. I'm just going to fill this back in. I don't want to deal with what's down there. I don't want to do... Like, that. I think that just leads back into the giant cavern network that leads all the way back to to home, but I'm never going to use that to get back to home. We'll just smooth this out. Nice flat surface. With no holes that could result in us dying. All is fine. Oxygen supply is still absolutely fine, thanks to the deposits that we're finding in the cave. Can I do anything with these, or are these just weird structures? Weird, scary structures. Oops, oh, I tried to build I tried to fill in the hole, I just made a a hill next to me instead. There we go. So I don't want to fall in these holes later. Okay. 
We've emerged somewhere on the other side of this big hill, it looks like. So I think we have to go back through to get home. Is this more malachite here? No, this is laterite, which is aluminium ore. Fantastic. Let's grab some more power here. And some more oxygen. I think, was there some more oxygen? Yeah, there's some more oxygen up here. Grab all of this. Excellent. Now we're free to just steal all of this stuff and not worry about running out of oxygen or power or whatever in the meantime. But we actually have too many... too much resources. Too many resources, too many blobs. Too much blobs. We've got multiple blobs of laterite separate from our backpack. This just keeps going. This is fantastic. Okay, I think we're done there. Let's dig our way out a little bit. I think there's, yeah, there's even more ore going in that direction. This is the sort of cave I, I was looking for. A nice safe one that doesn't kill me. Well, it looks like we've used enough power to have some space again. Also, there we go. We've now got space for two things. So we can grab the two blobs. Oh, here I go, sliding in. Everything's fine. Well, oh, I need to get the digger out. Dig my way up here. It also brings this down to us. We can plonk that there. And let's go home. If we can get out of here. Okay, more digging. There. We're really close to getting another blob of it, but then we wouldn't have any room in our backpack for it, so it'd be a bit awkward. Alright, we'll make our way back through here. Making sure not to fall in any holes into massive chasms that'll kill us. Past the horrible weird tentacle thing. Well, this is... is there something here? Oh, we're actually running out of oxygen now. Let's forget investigating that. Didn't seem to do anything anyway. And get back to our tethers as soon as we can. Um, it's, it's not a storm, is it? Oh, it is a storm. Crap, crap, crap. Quick, I need to get back to the tethers. That's all that matters right now. And then we'll deal with the being hit by rocks thing. Forget this. Abandon the thing. Where are the rocks coming from? I think it's over there. I'm suffocating. No, I'm going to die. Why? Why has this happened? But if I jump, I can sort of cheat. There's the tethers. I'm so close. I made it. Okay, I've got oxygen. Now I just need to not die. Dig, 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 dig. Get in the hole. Come on. There we go. Okay, we're safe. Phew. That was a bit close. I wonder how, just how close we came to dying there, because that was... That was definitely bad. Oh, there's a thing falling in here. Some oxygen. There we go. It was up. It's been knocked over by the rocks. But luckily, we haven't. We are safe in here. Everything is fine. With our weird camera angles. Our slightly flickery, crazy camera angles. I'm glad this floats, because I was worried when I dug that I would just knock it out of place and I wouldn't have a tether anymore. But it seems that we are good. Now we just... Ow! Okay, let's dig a bit, bit further down. We just have to wait out the storm, not get brained too much by the uh, the rocks, and it seems like we are safe to leave. Okay, all is good. Everything is fine. No need to panic. Okay, uh, I, we'll just take what we've got back with us. Let's grab this thing. And start steadily making our way home. At camera being weird. Mostly me being weird, really. Let's take a shortcut. I ended up not going in quite a straight line with the tethers, because I didn't know exactly where I was going initially. We can get this back, do some science, and build a bunch of cool things. Apparently this is still a resin supply. I don't see any resin, but I guess there's some still in there. We can build a bunch of new sections to our base. Hopefully we can make a printer and all sorts of cool things like that. So let's just hop into the pod for the moment and leave it there. There we go. So yeah, we shall be able to do a lot of base building next episode and that will involve not going into scary caves or caverns and potentially getting killed. So with that I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.